I honestly don't think I've ever seen this many whitetail in one spot before. We're over here by Belmont Lake and there's gotta be about 17 different whitetails including like 10 different bucks. This guy here has an estimate of, well of course I had a spotting right there, 211 to 271. So that's him there at 340. A little ways out and he's kind of in behind that grass. But I think we should be able to slide one right over the top of that grass and we should be able to make a nice shot. I felt pretty confident and wow. You know what, since we have this black barrel here at about 350, I think we're gonna try for him as well. Wow, I don't know where we hit him, but it looked good. Well, looks like he's going to score 241, and we double lunged him at 364 yards out. I guess that was a walking 356-yard left lung heart shot. Wow! I cannot believe that we just made that shot. I honestly thought we might have hit the neck. I mean, I was holding for right about here with 320, trying to compensate a little bit for the walk and the distance, and it dropped in there absolutely Perfect. That's an elk. A uh, small, not very good looking elk, so we'll take him down as well. So this is actually a max weight bull, which I'm glad that we took him down because he's not very impressive, but hopefully something a bit better comes back. But right lung at 173 is not bad. That should have taken, yeah, I believe we got that one. Uh, it's not the seven, but I'll take it. It's actually a pretty heavy one, so it's a good thing. Oh. He's hit. And that should honestly take him down, but how is he still running after that? Are you serious? Oh, he's down. I was going to say, that thing really shouldn't go too far. Still not the 7 either. Oh, just hit a little bit too low the first shot. That's a white tail. Uh, it's a doe. I just saw a coyote. That's a buck. Not a very impressive one, but definitely take him down if we get a chance. So we got a doe down here. I think, yep, left lung on that doe. I think this might be the other doe, or it's the buck. It's hard to tell. No, that's going to be a doe. So that was the intestine one. And then the buck, we should have hit pretty good up here as well. Yeah, there's the buck down right there. I've still yet to see... That could potentially be a diamond. 12 to 15 on that jackrabbit, that could be a diamond. But this is our buck. Uh, let it just a little bit too much, but uh, still took it down, I guess. So I just saw what could potentially be a giant diamond whitetail buck. I saw him go over this ridge here, and if you look closely right there, I could actually see some antlers in this thick grass. That's not going to be him. That's a big buck. Don't get me wrong, that's a, it's a huge buck. But it's not the one that I saw. That might be the one that I saw. Yeah, that's going to be him. Can't spot him, but that's definitely going to be him. I believe he's the small rack, but that potentially could be a diamond. I have yet to spot him, so let's slide over here and try and get on top of this rock. What's actually interesting about this spot here is I've never been here before. I mean, I've been here like when Call of the Wild first came out, but since I've been here, I've never seen anything, so I really never had a reason to come back. But now, I just might come back. Oh, this is so cool. We're climbing on top of this rock here, and... That's going to be him right there. It's a two. 
But you know what a 2 means. A 242 to 313. It's probably going to be somewhere around like a 280s buck. Potentially could be a diamond. And he's only about 30 yards out here. So let's slide over a little bit more. But this is so cool that we actually found this new spot here for whitetails. I mean, that guy there is pretty big as well. But 20 yards out, that's uh... Okay, so I want him to step forward just a little bit more. 26 out, I'm pretty comfortable with that actually. I think we'll go with that. Alright. Oh boy, he's turning. He's not going to stick around for too long. Let's draw back. That's not going to be a shot. Okay, let's go prone. Come on. Come on, big buck. I mean, you could stop there at 40. I'll definitely take that all day long. Oh my god, I missed him. I just missed him. How the heck did I miss him? Come on, big buck. I mean, you could stop there at 40. I'll definitely take that all day long. Oh my god, I missed him. I just missed him. Well, I'm pretty sure we just found the herd of whitetail again. But now you also do know that even Dee, Dee does miss sometimes. I can't believe I just missed though. That was kind of funny. Um, but we're going to get a second chance at this giant buck here. And we just got to figure out which one is him. This is like down by the water. He could be. Oh, there he is. I guarantee that's him. Look at that. Yeah, it's him. It's him. Okay. So at least we found him. He's about 100 yards away. So let's try and get closer. I think this is going to work a little bit better. We're about 30 yards out from this giant buck for the second time now. And we actually have cover this time. So this time, we can be a little more patient and wait for a better shot. But that's a beautiful buck though. He's about 30 yards out right there. I mean, I don't exactly love the angle that he's at right now. So I think we'll be patient. And wait for him to maybe turn. That's the big buck in the back right there. A doe right there. We can slide forward a little bit here. Check this out. We just got to about 28 yards from this giant buck and he's turning. No, 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 no. Hold still, hold still. Come on. Oh, smoked him. Well, we might have missed him once. But I can guarantee you one thing. We didn't miss him that time. And we might have made a heart shot. It's another diamond. We made a double lung heart shot. Barely a diamond. 278.46. But that's a diamond level 2. Double lung heart at 28 yards away. Wow. That makes number 20 diamond white tails. 20 diamond white tails. I mean, I just can't get away from them. They just keep, I just keep finding them. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of looking for white tail, but I'm not really looking for diamond white tail right now. But this spot here, I, we got to get this mounted first off. <laughs> and he's not bad. He's not bad. I mean, considering I've gotten level threes that barely made diamond, the fact that this guy made diamond at a level two, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now let me show you where we just found this diamond whitetail buck. It's in a spot, like I said, I've never hunted here for whitetails before. I remember when Call of the Wild first came out, I hunted pretty much every area. But if I didn't see an animal, I pretty much never went back there. So right here is Norden. And we're just to the east of Norden, which is the very far northeast of the map. I mean, basically like the north end of the map. And we're right along the edge of this river here. Right here is where I got a couple of coyotes from before. But I actually missed that buck the first time. Right here at this point. Right there. And then we tracked him down to this point here. And the zone is right here from 12 o'clock until 1530. So here we are back at our trophy lodge. And the buck in the top left corner over there is our 290 diamond that we got three days ago. Then yesterday we got this buck right here that scored 290 as well. Now today the buck that we just got 
is not this one because that one's a 283 diamond but this one right here is the one that we got today and he scored 278.4 that right there makes 20 diamond whitetails and i honestly don't know how we've been getting so many of them but i just know one thing we must be like the whitetail whisperer or something like that but anyways that's him and <laughs> Yeah, DD does miss apparently because today was definitely one of those days. I did miss him the first time. I mean, you could stop there at 40. I'll definitely take that all day long. Oh my god, I missed him. And I think what happened is he was actually like 40 and I held for 30 and I think it dropped like right below the heart. But the second time we had him out there at 28 yards and we made a double lung heart shot on him. So we definitely did not miss the second time. But overall, that was a good hunt, and that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.